Hi, I'm Jonathan Oxer, and this is Walk Time Blog number 33 with the second part of my Mendel Max V2 unboxing. Now, I'm really sorry that the video quality was rubbish in the last Walk Time Blog. I used the same camera that I've been using for previous Walk Times, and yet somehow it turned out to be absolutely horrible. I don't really know why, but oh well. So instead I've grabbed the full HD video camera that I normally use, like the good quality Canon one that I use for Super House and other things. And today I got another big package. This one's bigger than the last and it's a lot heavier. It's all the mechanicals for my Mendel Max V2. So I'm gonna grab a tripod so that there's less of the camera waving around and so I can use both hands to unbox it. And I'm going to show you what is in this big box. This time I have both my hands to work with. So there should be less danger of an oh and s issue. But how do I get this thing open? It's very solidly packaged and a very heavy box. I don't want to damage what's in it, obviously. Oh, we're making some progress. Man. it's a lot of stuff in here. And yes, it is actually the Mendel Max V2. <laughs> I was look, wasn't entirely sure because this package isn't labeled. It just looked like it was about the right size. More of the fairy floss filling. And once again, it's very well packaged. They've put a um, very thick cardboard base underneath and wrapped it all really well. So I've got to say that I'm impressed by the way Maker's Toolworks have, um, have shipped these. Shipping something as heavy and delicate as this because there's a, um, a big piece of glass in here as well from the US to Australia. It's not that easy and they've done a really good job of it. So we've got packing slip, a list of all the parts in it, there's an invoice, ah, part of the structure. These are the anodized plates. One of the things that you could choose was what color you wanted the plates anodized. So I ended up going for blue to be in keeping with Freetronics. There's another aluminium plate under there. And I can see that in the middle of all of this is the sheet of glass. So I'll get these anodized plates out of the way. This is an exercise in reversing their over-enthusiastic packaging. This feels quite heavy as well. I wonder what's in there. Maybe threaded rod? Let's find out. Ah, yes. It is indeed. And have a look at this. This is nice. You can see it's been machined with a little, uh, like a collar on the end, and then it's got very deep thread all the way down it. So I'll put those aside for now. And let's open up this bit of packaging. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, so we have the glass. I won't unpack this because I want to keep this nice and clean and, um, and make sure it's not damaged, but that should be the glass for the build platform. Of course, I'm doing all this rather cold. It was a bit of a snap decision to order this, so I, um, I don't even know that much about what I'm unpacking. And this is obviously the heating element for the glass. So that's to give it the heated build platform. And there is another piece of aluminium there as well, which I think goes under the glass. That's, um, that's part of the base. So to keep everything neat, I'm going to leave all that cardboard on, keep that together and put that aside so that it won't be damaged. Now, other interesting things in here. There are some, looks like there are some bushings. These are mechanical mounts for, um, for some of the rod, I think. There are some belts, various brackets. There's a power connector. 
and some couplings. So there's a, um, a little, it looks like aluminium cylinder here and it has grub screws around it. So I think that is a coupling between two shafts. There are some plastic bushings and there's a little bag of, um, of bearings in there as well. So general assorted hardware. Put that aside as well. Now this is just a whole lot of different nuts and bolts. So T-nuts, M3 nut, I can see different lengths and every bag has been labelled. This is very impressively done. I'll open this up to show you what I mean. For example, this one says M3 T-nut on it. And there are others in here, so this is SHCS M5-10, so that's an M5 bolt and it's obviously 10 millimeters long. But rather than just throw everything into a big bag, They've gone to a lot of trouble to make sure that all of this is labelled nicely, so that should make it a lot easier during assembly. And then we've got a couple of tools. There are some hex wrenches, different lengths, different diameters, uh, some Loctite, which is stuff that you put on the thread before you do it up. It's basically glue for a bolt, and then once it dries, the, uh, the bolt is firmly held in place. That's to stop it vibrating out. So that's some of the assembly stuff required. And here we have some 3D printed parts. There are a couple of brackets in there and these have obviously come off a 3D printer. You can tell because of the layers of deposition. But they look pretty good for 3D printed parts. More brackets, more anodized brackets. There's a large black bracket there and an anodized blue bracket here. That's obviously aluminium as well, it's very light. And very clean, it's very nicely done. I don't know how they produce that. I assume it's uh, CNC machined. It looks like it. and a whole collection of little aluminium parts. Once again, I won't unwrap all of this because I don't want to lose those parts or get them mixed up. But this looks like everything in this bag is brackets of different types. So I'll keep all of those together. Now I've got to try to get this off. Back to the knife, I think. In here we have a whole lot of these aluminium extrusions. So this is what forms the physical structure of the Mendel Max. So that would be extremely rigid. You can see the cross section there on the extrusion and yet it's got the, um, the square section externally with these slots. So that'll be very easy for putting a nut inside there and tensioning up against it. There are a whole lot of other extrusions here cut to different lengths. And then, looks like there's some slide. I'll just take the end off that, I won't totally unwrap it. Oh, this is nice. So this is a steel slide feels very smooth. And here you can see, once again, there's a section that, um, that is essentially two slides that are machined out of a single piece of aluminium. And it's got a base plate across here. So it holds it at a, um, a consistent distance apart. And that looks like that's about it. So I think I now have 
every piece I need to start assembling my Mendel Max V2. Next thing I'm going to do is get into that. So, next time I see you, I should have at least a partially assembled Mendel Max 3D printer. See ya!